All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going cave camping. Thought I'd try something different. I've drove up to this location. I've actually been up and down the hills for about two hours trying to find this cave, and I can't find it. We've got two hours of light left. We need to try and find this cave. Um, if not, there's a few other places in camp. There's a big waterfall and stuff, so we're going to go there. But yeah, just buzzing to be back out. Bring it on. Very boggy around here as you can see. Go this way I think. You guys will bring you back when I'm near the caves if I can find them. Don't know how well you can hear me guys but this is a perfect little spot for pitching up a tent. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave my backpack here. I've got about an hour and a half of light left so I've got an hour to try and find this cave. I'm going to leave my stuff down here. I'm sure it'll be safe and um, worst case scenario I sleep here tonight by the waterfall. There's even a little campfire somebody's already made so it'll be all good. Let's find this cave but 15 minutes in guys. Still not found them. Everywhere is boggy, craggy, I fell, cut my hand a few times, but I will find them, I've got about an hour of light left, um, I'll turn you around and show you where I'm going. But yeah, I don't know if you can see the waterfall over there. Yeah, I'm going to enjoy my pot noodle tonight. I am knackered. But as I said, if I don't find the caves, I'll try again in the morning. And I'll just calm down by the waterfalls tonight. But, um, yeah, I did find a cave earlier. It's not a cave I'm looking for. But yeah, it was possible to sleep in that. But we'll see how it goes. Damn it, I thought I was it. This could be alright about getting a bivy in here. Possible for later on. Don't know if the rain would be seeping down on me, but it's a little crack up there. Is it maybe right up there? We'll find out.
It's just the other side of that wee bivy spot. There's a little sort of a lean to shelter. Just in there, I don't know if you can see. But yeah, where's this cave? Apparently it's like a pyramid. A pyramid entrance. You look up through the trees and you see it. As I said, I've been up here. Spent two hours up here earlier, couldn't find it. Right, I'll bring us back. This next bit's a bit dodgy. Disaster, guys. I was up there trying to find the cave, and uh, I'm, I, I missed my footing. And basically, I just slid down the side of the rock face, about 20 feet. I don't know if you can see the back of me. But, um, as I've slid down, I put my foot out to stop myself from falling anymore. And I almost put into a crevice and basically I've jarred my ankle, it's killing me so it'd be stupid for me to try and find this cave now um, so I'm just going to set up here beside the waterfall if my ankle is, is not too bad in the morning I may try again but I think this is going to swell up luckily I've got painkillers with me, going to take some of them have a wee drink, might help um, but guys, this is why you should always tell people where you're going. Worst case scenario, I did get my foot jammed like that film. Um, I could be stuck up there, but several people know where I am, the exact spot where I am, so... But all's good. Um, so ranko, but I'm just going to enjoy my camp now. Maybe try and find these caves tomorrow. One disaster after another, guys. I've had to hobble 20 minutes back to the car, because I forgot the uh, refreshments. Um, also, I'm getting a quick charge from my power bank because that's slow as well as my phone. So, 20 minutes hobbling back down there. Uh, my tent's all set up, get a fire on the go, then we'll have a wee chat. I'll be glad to have a drink, I'll tell you that. Walking back to my car again. In my excitement of grabbing the alcoholic refreshments, I forgot to grab my water. So, hobbling back up to the car again, as you can hear, the owls are out. It's just about to hit nightfall, and um, yeah, I'm going back up to the car to get water. Um, I'll get a cup of tea. Might just bend the pot in the now, and uh, got a few rolls and cheese. And I'll get cracking, enjoy a fire, and have a few beers. Don't know if you can see this guys, but the sun's just going down behind the mountains. Who cares? It's all good. Try to make my way back to camp in the pitch dark. Water wasn't in my car. Don't know where it's went. Went to a shop to buy some as well. Um, but tonight's been pretty much a disaster. But you know what? I'm loving it, I don't care, I'm out. Um, I'm going to get a campfire on and have a few beers. There's a waterfall close by so we can boil up some water, let it cool down for the morning when I'm thirsty. Right guys, back to you in a bit. Hopefully I don't have any more accidents. You know what time it is? The famous gourmet pot noodle. Even if I did have the energy to make anything tonight, pot noodle's quick and easy. Yep, that's me settled, I'm really enjoying it now guys. Let this settle for a bit. 20 minutes, lift the lid over the top of it. Get it nice and soggy. 
in the meantime, it's time for a tap room IPA, well deserved. Welcome back guys, um, it's about half nine at night, it's been about a crazy day, up and down the caves, then falling down that, basically it's an old case, I'd probably exaggerate when I said it was um, 20 feet, probably about 10, 15 feet, but my ankle was proper killing me, and then having to go back to the car a couple of times, forgetting the, the buck fast and then forgetting the water, I actually never forgot the water, the water was actually here, so it was a waste of journey. But, hey, okay. we sat here now, campfire roaring, um, got my box back, it's all good. I'll show you about this place in the morning. It's, uh, I've got my tent right beside the waterfall. It was good in the morning, it'll be beautiful. Um, I've got the Zephyrost one out of me tonight, and if I'm feeling up for it in the morning, Probably won't, my ankle's killing me just now, so but if I'm off, I'm going to try and up the caves and um, show you in the caves. I did go to one cave, you probably could have got a, a roll mat and your sleep bag in, but the cave I was looking for is the legendary Arica cave. It's the one that's got a window with a campfire under it. Um, yeah, I was going to do a whole lot of stuff about the history of the place, blah blah blah, but I'm going to save that for another video because I'm not giving up on it. Anyway, so I'm sitting here. A lot of the wood in this forest, well, down the bottom end anyway, is quite damp and wet. This is just starting to burn now. It's been on the fire, it's side of the fire for about a couple of hours now. It's just starting to burn, which is just as well because I've run out of kindling. Um, yeah, I just want to say a big thanks to a few people who have made this trip possible tonight. Um, Monty Outdoors, Nicky White, Wally Scotch Outdoors, um, Greg Daly, Johnny Explore Scotland. A lot of people have, um, have made donations in to buy me a coffee. And I don't like talking about it, but I'm in a wee bit of trouble financially just now and I just had an MOT which was £600 so I just put me into a major depression on uh, on Friday there so yeah a few of the troops rallied round put some money in my buy me a coffee and made this camping trip possible for me um, I just needed to escape just so much going on just now, um, and there's nothing better than just sitting out in a, a dark forest in the middle of nowhere, having a drink, just forget about your worries. Tomorrow, Monday, it'll be back to the usual, worrying about bills and debts and things like that, but tonight, Outdoor Alley is outdoors, he's enjoying the fire, he's been up the caves, <laughs> he's spread his ankle, and you know what, I don't care. I'm having a good time. And it's going to be beautiful in the morning. I might jump in the river. Um, have a wee wash in the morning, don't know. The weather report said it's maybe minus two overnight, but um, right now it feels okay. It's probably just a false feeling of warmth because I've had some alcohol, but it is getting chilly and my hands are feeling cold, so 
going to go in the tent. I've got some silver radiator foil, and then I've got some uh, my foam roll mat. I've also got my OEX Traverse air mat, and on top of that, I've got my Army Arctic sleeping bag. So both of that's going to be enough to keep me warm. Worst case scenario, I've got my Army baby bag. I pull that over the sleeping bag, and it may give me an extra one or two degrees warm. Right, bedtime guys, always make sure your fire's out at night, especially in a built up forest area. Right, I'll see you in the morning guys. Um, woke up this morning about half five, busting for a pee. As you can imagine, being right beside the waterfall, and uh, yeah, I woke up, my uncle was still throbbing, so couldn't get back to sleep. So I packed away my sleeping bag, all the rest of my stuff, just enjoying a cup of tea, and I just had a, a sandwich there. So um, yeah, going to be heading off soon. If you like this video, please think about giving me a thumbs up and subscribe. Gives me the motivation to go out and do more stupid things like this. Um, next time I will conquer that game. If I've got time, I'm going to show you around. And if my battery allows, I'll show you further up the waterfalls. But if this is it, peace out guys.